139, if I don't run down there today and throw no shoes or nothing, just take just get this word in you. Amen. Psalms 139, say amen when you have it. Amen. Verse 24, 23 and 24. Two short passages, but very powerful passages. It says, search me, O God, and know my heart. Don't be trying to know nobody else's heart. Know your own heart. And know my heart. Try me. Somebody say, try me. Try me. And know my thoughts. Let me know God know everything that we think. Hallelujah. For 24 verse and see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and speaking of his already blessed word. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We want to use for a thought on today and try to be as, as temporaneous as we can. But we want you to get what we're saying. Amen. Get rid of the poison. Get rid of the poison. Tap your neighbor and say, get rid of the poison. Amen. How many know poison to kill you? Hallelujah. For a sub companion thought we want to use contamination breeds infestation. Contamination breeds infestation. And that's what we want to talk to you about for these few minutes. For these few minutes. How many know it's the devil's desire for us to just jump and shout? And have a lot of stuff in us. That's right. How many know poison the kid? Yes, How many know they got a bottle when you see the skull on the bottom? Right. And y'all can see that bottle they had sometimes, especially on them private ship show. When you see the skull, and they let you know there's poison. Isn't that right? right. Hey, Amen. How many know when something get contaminated, if you don't get it out, they the kid? Yes, oh, y'all ain't saying that. The How many know before you came to God, if you didn't come out of sin, it was going to kill you? Yeah. Tell somebody, say, I know it was going to kill you. I know. And some of the stuff you know you was doing, it was going to kill you. Amen. The drugs was going to kill you. The liquor was going to kill you. Or somebody's wife was going to kill you. Y'all ain't saying that. Somebody's husband was going to kill you. Oh, y'all ain't saying that. You know you done had some close calls. You know you've been chased by cars. And you've been zigging and zagging bullets. And y'all ain't saying that. Because somebody was looking for you. Because you've been messing with their man. And oh, all y'all ain't saying that. Uh, it's amazing how people come when you messing with my man and you ain't got no papers on him. And if he ain't your man if you ain't married to him, you know that's my man. You ain't got no papers, I don't belong to you. Oh y'all they said that for honey, we belong to God. Get rid of the poison. And I was doing some reading and and and, and I'm watching the clock. I was doing some reading and I was reading, I came across a little story that said years ago on the back draft of um, Af South Africa. Amen. They said they had what they call people had begun to die. And they didn't know why the people were dying. And they said, what is wrong with the people dying? Amen. And they found out that the, that the death was seen to be coming from the water supply. And they said they couldn't understand why people were dying from the water supply in South Africa because the water was flowing like a, a, a clear river or a clear, it was like crystal. And they said, why is the water killing folk? And they said, this is some of the best water in South Africa. How I many know it look good for you, ain't good, ain't look good to you, ain't good for you? How I many know it might taste good, it might feel good, it might sound good? But how I, I, I many know a lot of times it ain't good for you? But the, everybody was drinking this water, they couldn't understand why people would die. And they were puzzled. Amen. And they sent some health experts in to, to check the water. And go down and see where they were getting the spring water from to see what the problem was. Say that when they got down there to send the health experts to check the water and the springs that they get this fresh water from, to their dismay they found out that a large mother pig and her piglets had got trapped in the drains of the, the, the floor of the water. Where the pig would go down and take a little piglets and they would drink the water. And they don't know how long this had been going on, but the, 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 because the piglets and the mother pig died, it contaminated the water, where they were getting the water from. Y'all ain't seeing that spiritually. See, when something dies, you got to get that thing out of there. It's going to start stinking. Y'all ain't saying that. Tell somebody say, get it out. You got to get rid of that poison. You got to get rid of How many know you got to keep getting rid of stuff? Just because you get saved and speak in tongues, that, you ain't, that don't mean you totally clean. Tell them that say, we got to keep cleaning up. Get it out. Contamination breeds infestation. Yes, yes. So they found out that the water supply was contaminated and they begin to clean the contamination. And the mother pig that said that the piglets had swollen up. Amen. Due to the, 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 the water pressure, they had been dead for a while. They had swollen up and the mother pig had bust 
disgusting. And to say that the intestines from the mother pig, they get caught in the drains and the, the, the infestation uh, from the parasites had latched on to the pig. Does that sound nasty? No. Not only were they there, but the infestation uh, from the sea had latched on to the pig. And that was filtering also through the guts of the mother pig into the water that they were drinking. Oh, now that's not real nasty, don't it? Yeah. Uh-huh, but sometimes you drinking and fooling with sin and poison and you think you're doing well, but you contaminated. Jesus. Hallelujah, infestation. Jesus. So they went in and they removed it from the spring waters and they divided, amen, the waters and they did some more testing after they got the pig out of there. Amen, and they begin to talk about, the writer begin to talk about, this is how we look sometime in the spirit. In our lives, we have a contamination. Amen. It looked good on the outside. The water was moving and, and, and across amen, the ocean clearly. They were drinking from the springs, but something was wrong with it. Uh -huh. Oh, you look good, but something wrong. Tell them they can say, but something wrong with you. Amen. You ever look at somebody, people, and they act crazy, you like something wrong with them. Yeah, you ever be in people's presence and you just meet them, and in a few minutes you realize something wrong with them. Y'all ain't saying that. Amen. And what we do, we don't say that, but what we do, we be like, you know, this means. Some of them, or we'll be like, you know, if they do this, right. something wrong with you. Oh, yeah, yeah, they would. Robert Moore said you were one French fry short of a happy meal. Well, oh, right. there's something wrong with you. Yeah. Amen. But if there is a contamination in your life, you got to go in and begin to remove all that contaminated stuff. You can't shop over infestation. And the longer something stays in you, this is a real short summer, but it's powerful. The longer something stays in you, it has an opportunity to spread through your body. You got somebody say, get it out. Yeah. Look at your neighbor. Look at me. I say, get it out. Yeah. Or it will kill you. Oh, yeah, you got to get that. It's just like a person that has cancer. They need chemo because they need to stop the progression of the cancer. Isn't that right? Yeah. Amen. And you have some people, they don't want no chemo. They just say, let me die. Amen. But how many know you want to look at live? Yeah. It's the same way it is in the spirit. If you allow sin to continue to reign, it's going to kill you. Yeah. You might be sitting on the front row this, this Sunday. Two weeks from now, you're in the middle row. And a month from now, three months from now, you're on the back row. By the end of this year, you're not going to clean out the door. Yeah. Amen. Because how many know sin is contamination? Yeah. And sin brings infestation. Yeah. Anything that's infested, amen, there is a problem. Infestation means to overrun or to inhabit a large number or quantities. Amen. You are overrun with sin. How many know one sin don't put you out of God? But as you begin to practice sin, eventually you're no longer saved. Now they got this thing called one saved, always saved. Tap your neighbor and say, that's a lie. That's a lie. Amen. You know, if you keep committing sin, become habitual, you are no longer, amen, a part of the kingdom of God. That infestation get in you. And many church folks running around speaking in tongues, jumping and shouting, and you full of yourself. You are contaminated as you want to be. And everything you touch, you contaminate. Oh, y'all ain't saying that. Amen. Back in the, in, the, in, the, in the Bible days when they had leprosy, they had to be put outside of the city. Sure oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Wouldn't it be something if God came down and stopped putting people out the church itself? Because uh, you contaminated. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. There'd be a whole lot of empty churches with it. Amen. They would have to go around and put their hand over their mouth and say, unclean, unclean. Amen. Because they had leprosy. Yeah. And they couldn't be around other folk. They had their own little community. Come on, talk to me. Where they would go and they would have their, you know, they had their little illnesses and their diseases. Where there is a sin disease, there is an infestation disease. Yeah. And then there's what you call a disease of bitterness. Yeah. I want to deal with that. Because a lot of you are bitter and you don't even realize you're bitter. I want to deal with that. Let's look at contamination first. Aid. Contamination is the act or the condition of being damned. The act or the condition of being damned. You can't be saved and damned at the same time. Come on, talk to me here. Therefore, there is no for now, no more condemnation to them which are what? In Christ Jesus, who walk not after the but after the spirit. And you can't walk after the spirit with infestation. You got to get that thing out. Many times I've been to church all my life. I see the some of so many people walk around with the same bitter attitude. Amen. You watch them, they never grow, they never move from where they are. They had the same issues with the same people for 10, 20, 30 years. And you think you're gonna die and just walk up into heaven? Tell somebody say you gotta deal with that thing. And as I said last night, God began to minister to me about a few things. I say, this is a decent sermon. I was thinking to myself, this ain't what I...